Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stars, you hear for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so there's a lot of drama circulating on YouTube about Mel's baby mama and Melody Cherie and him in these frivolous lawsuits he's continuously putting out against her, in my opinion, in an attempt to control her. Now, I'm going to be real with you. This conversation or this topic makes me kind of uncomfortable because at the end of the day, her children are involved. But I wanted to put together this debauncture as respectful as possible because everything that comes out of Mel's baby mama's mouth is an absolute lie. And there are clips and videos all over the place where we can piece together and see what his true intentions are behind him fouling these claims and these lawsuits, etc. I think this is all a bunch of lies in an attempt to embarrass her, humiliate her. And again, he's just doing anything he can at this point to attach himself to her. I wonder if he did the psych evaluation. I wonder if he already paid her lawyer's fees. And I wonder if he actually went to court with his son like he was supposed to do. Because he wants to convince us that he cares about his children's well-being so much, yet he's continuing to go on with these antics, which ultimately are making it worse for everybody involved. And in some of the claims in the paperwork, he is claiming that Melody has an intimate relationship with her security guard, Jason, who is married, which I believe is a lie. And I'm going to give you guys the reason why I believe it's a lie. We've seen Martell accuse Melody of plenty of things, a plethora of things, and they all came out to be an absolute lie. Literally, not one of them have held up to be the truth. He's also claiming that Melody and Miss Van allows the children to drive cars on the highways and roadways, which again, this is all petty and ridiculous and he's pulling any and everything out of his ass to see what would stick, but we are going to debunk everything that he's saying. I'm telling you guys, I think that this is just something that he's doing to try to control Melody. He doesn't really have an issue with Melody teaching the children how to drive only because they get to drive a better car than him. He's still stuck in that raggedy ass Ford that he had when Mel divorced his ass. He's a broke bum hoe and he don't have nothing going on for himself but to try to harass, humiliate, and embarrass Melody. We're tired of it. It's old. And all the hoes that are continuing to go with his antics, y'all are really some dusty ass hoes. And I'm praying all you bitches bloodlines receive a man like him and are stuck with him through eternity. Now, I've already talked about a lot of this stuff over on my live video. And like I said, I want to be completely respectful and not speak about the children too much. So I'm only going to leave a clip of the children speaking about their preference and who they would rather stay with because Mel's baby mama is putting a lot of stuff in the documents which would make people believe that the children are going to him and expressing these things to him and I just don't think that that is true. Uh, Boss Baby said something that was interesting in the clip that I'm going to show in this video and that was how she wanted to stay with him because he gave them you know Rocky Road ice cream etc. We've heard him say on the Tasha K interview that it's easily to manipulate his children Children and convince them to say etc we've seen him disrespect and violate his daughter's boundaries by questioning her about her mother because he was upset that his children were in therapy and in, a, in an attempt to try to expose Melody he ended up exposing his daughter and really lying on her and he continues to lie on his children and it's so disheartening because he thinks that he's making himself look better when he's actually making himself look worse and ruining the relationships that he could possibly serve her with his children in the future. 
Now, I'm not going to leave that clip in this video because, again, I want to try to be as completely respectful as possible and not make it too much about the children like he is trying to do because, to me, it's all about him trying to control Melody. And I brought that example up because we saw in that video him questioning his daughters and getting more and more upset as she was giving him answers that he didn't necessarily want to hear. And the reason why I wanted to bring that to you guys is attention because my live video last night I was basically letting you guys know how children ultimately change as they grow and are being developed by a narcissist it's a survival technique it's something that they learn because they have to always stay on their toes and they have to be the ones to mitigate and help regulate their narcissist behaviors and emotions and it's the unfortunate truths but if you guys remember that video where Martel was basically trying to expose Melody about taking his kids to therapy he was just questioning his daughters and you can tell how upset he was getting and based on that very action that he chose to display and show the world I believe that he questions the children and they get uncomfortable and at that point they start giving him whatever it is that he want to hear and he start taking it and mixing it up and switching it around etc. We also heard Mel say in her live TikTok video that she did recently maybe about a few weeks or so or a month or so ago and she basically revealed that Mel's baby mama, Martel, had went to her children and told her children that she was sleeping with or messing with Devin Keith. And that was around the time that he was trying to expose Melody for moving on as if her having a relationship with Devin would mean anything. It ended up not being true, but it's the fact that he was having these conversations about their mother's dating life with the children and I need y'all to understand because I am a person that had experienced this experienced something literally so similar it is literally insane and I want to try to get you guys to understand what the children can be going through is actually a lot worse than we may see and it's because of him. The things that he is doing have directly affected the children and he doesn't want to acknowledge it because of his ego and his pride. But a lot of you hoes that continue to speak about these children in the light that Martel is trying to convince y'all is absolutely insane and pathetic. The fact that you guys are listening and seeing the things that he is doing and trying to make excuses for his behavior shows how much of a vow human and woman that you are and you're not a good mother. And if you have children and you're co-signing the stuff that Mill's baby mama is doing to her, you're not a good fucking mother and your children ultimately are raised to be just as poor thinking in the brain as you are if you could literally see the things that he's doing to this woman and think that nothing is wrong with it and she's the problem having personal conversations with your children about their mother's intimate life is a big no-no and the fact that he wanted to reveal to his children that melody was having a relationship with Devin keith the way that uh that conversation was had i feel like that was a similar Similar conversation or the way he brought that conversation up with the children and Devin Keith that was a similar way he did with Jason and then just mixed in narratives because he continues to say in the documentations that Melody was asleep or you know at night when the kids are sleeping she would let this man spend a night which again are you meaning wanting us to believe you meaning to tell me you want us to believe that melody is allowing this man to spend a night at her house like are we see like i mean can we just really be done with this nonsense but let me go ahead and throw these debunctures in here y'all get in the comment section and let me know what you think but before we get into the debunctures i want to talk about this and that is when he attempted to blast devin keith and shout out to sensibility speaks because I watched her video and that's where I got this screenshot from in order to do the debuncture. But Martel posted on his 
Facebook and then deleted a while back and it said, y'all let me know if Melody Cherie or anyone else started a GoFundMe for Devin Keith. I have a little something, hashtag King. And ho, I think it's funny that you have a little something, but you still ain't paying none of them lawyer fees. And ho, I think it's funny that you have a little something, but what do you have on your children and their fees? He made this post to try to embarrass Melody for being with somebody that was or what he would consider less than him because he was in a store stealing when Melody wasn't even dealing with this man in an intimate way. So the joke's really on you. And the gag is people were saying that this man, Devin Keith, was supposed to be Martel's friend, but Martel uh, basically railroaded him and threw him under the bus and tried to embarrass him. And none of what he said was even the truth. So to me, it seems like a reoccurring track record. This is something that he does. It's his history. He gets a little information and he tries to twist it and turn it. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about these clips that I'm putting together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so y'all are up to date each and every time that I upload. Okay, so here are the kids. They're operating a motor vehicle, believe it or not, and this is on a roadway. This is something that Mills Baby Mama do with the kids all the time. We've seen them operate not just this, but other vehicles as well in the presence of Martel. So the fact that he is trying to pinpoint that Mill is helping the children drive is just him being petty and being jealous in my opinion that he can't be in a g-wagon and look how much of an ass kiss ass wipe he is running past two white men asking them oh or telling them thank you for you know helping our community as he is a black man that created two broken homes he's literally a thorn in the black community somebody I'm reporting, so thank you for making my community look good. <laughs> All right, bud. Thank you for making my community look good, buddy. What's up, bud? We're going up a hill, huh? No, I know. I know you do. Yes, Just got some Because me and Elijah's dad got divorced, and when we broke up, that meant that... Now we... you're going, like, back and forth, back and forth. Exactly. Just like Mommy and Daddy are doing. Just like that. How do you feel about going back and forth? <laughs> Don't like it? Me and I'm going to say it more. Now, Mommy and Daddy, they want them to be married again. So let me ask you guys a question, if you don't mind, it's getting personal, since now we're quick friends. You, Martel, said you want to live with your mom. Malia, who do you want to live with? Um, Ice Cream Boy. I love that answer. I'm sure you want to live with both of them, because you want them to still be... No, I'm talking about, I want to be with Daddy. You want to be with your Daddy, okay? What do you want, Mariah? To live with my mom. Okay. But, but our Daddy's been like... 